welcome to the World British Barber of the Year and World British Barber Shop of the Year. First of all, what a 2020 we've had in very difficult times for every barber and hairdressers out there. Everybody at World UK sends their love and best wishes for the remaining part of 2020, but also as well, we hope that you have a fantastic 2021 and things, fingers crossed, get back to some normality and we can all have a fantastic year. To win this first award, the World British Barber of the Year, will change somebody's career today. It's a fantastic award, it's the Champions League of Barbering Awards, so we can't wait to announce this next award. Before we start, let's have a look at this year's finalists. Luca Chitti started in 2001, based in Exeter. This is Luca's first big final that he's been in. Luca believes in himself and loves pushing himself to the limits. Giving him this award would mean everything to Luca and his two salons. Dale Ince started his barbering career in 2008 owner of Inces in the heart of Shrewsbury. The 2019 Barber of the Year at the NEC Air UK Awards is an all-rounder and loves making his clients feel and look fantastic. He also loves to inspire. Second time appearance in the Wall Barber of the Year, Gray Kesman started his career in 2009. He's also working out of Cutter's Yard in London. 2018 British Barber Association Hall of Famer. He loves to create masculine looks and winning this award would mean the world to Garay Kesman. Killian Madison started his career in 2014 and working in some of the UK's top barber shops, including Savills. This year saw Killian open his own shop in Oldham, Amigos. He's also a past winner of the HJ Men's Barber of the Year. Sean Buckingham started his career in 2009 working out of Stafford. Sean is the lead educator for men's barbering at the Francesco Group. Sean loves to educate and would love to become a wall educator. Kyle Rowlands, flying the flag for Wales, started in 2010 and working out of West Wales. The British Barber Bash winner 2019 opened his own salon, the Fade Barber Shop in 2017. Kyle's loves working on stage to educate and winning this award would open the doors to that side of his career. So before we announce the World British Barber of the Year, I just want to talk to you about how tough it was for the judges. They were judged on their barbering skills, their total looks, their presentation skills, the use of clippers, everything that you would normally get judged on if you was on stage at Salon International. It's a real tough one, this, to judge. My hat goes off to every single one that got through to these finals in view that they had to wear masks and visors and they're in their own environment. So whoever wins this really does deserve it. Now, before we announce the winner, let's go and see what the judges think. This year's competition was so different from every other year that we've done it. The finalists didn't get to experience working on the wall stage with the audience around them. They had to work with PPE in front of a camera, which is easier said than done. The standard was so high and each finalist showed so much creativity and really showed their skills to the best of their ability. So well done to everybody and the best of luck. Well done to all the finals for this year's World British Barber of the Year contest for finishing their videos. The standard was very high this year. Very difficult for all the judges to come to some conclusion. Well done to you all and uh, all the best. Hello, Charlotte here from Modern Barber. Um, I'm so impressed by the effort the finalists have gone to for this year's World British Barber of the Year competition. It's not easy talking straight to camera and not being able to feed off an audience. So a big well done to all of the finalists for their hard work and effort. All of the videos were engaging, thoughtful, and the skills were of such a high standard. Um, but the contestants that really stood out to me were the ones who were able to explain the tools that they were using and why they were using them. And that level of expertise will see them go really far. Well guys, that's a wrap. Just finished judging Wall Barber of the Year 2020. A uh, really important competition, a little bit, little bit of positivity in this times of darkness, but great competition, one of the ones to win uh, in the calendar. Uh, quality models and finalists always surprises me, um, not surprises me in a bad way, but every year it gets better and better. I was involved in the judging last year and this year it's even surpassed that. Uh, congrats to all the finalists to making it this far. Um, all the scores have gone in now, so We'll see who's, who the lucky winner is. You've got a great year looking forward 
It's going to be a life changer. Fantastic. Thanks again for entering. This is me signing off. Good luck. Okay, thanks to all our judges in which was such a tough competition to judge. Here we go. We're about to change somebody's career. The 2020 Wall British Barber of the Year is from Oldham, Mr. Killian Madison. Madison, thank you. The new Wall British Barber of the Year 2020. Get in, you beauty. <laughs> I've just been screaming the house down. Listen, baby, this one is coming right to you to oh, hold them. I'm buzzing. I'll give it a kiss for you, mate. Yeah, I'll, I'll get in. I'll see how much uh, beer I can fit in that when it, ev when it arrives. <laughs> so, look, we've just interviewed Annie. Uh, if you weren't joining us, Killian is our brand new wall British Barber of the Year. Killian, what does this mean to you? Uh, it's mean, it means everything to me, this, me, this mate. I've wanted to enter this competition since the very first started and I've been anxious as anything for the past month waiting for the result of this competition. So it's absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Um, what, what's, what's your thoughts in terms of the day that's just gone? Because obviously we've been very nervous. We've been here set up quite a, a long time uh, over the last two days. But obviously the last couple of hours for us is really like we've been counting the minutes down. What's it been like for you at home? I've got no fingernails left. I mean, it's sat here on my bed like this for about three hours. Uh, it's been absolutely mad. I've, I've been panicking all day, but, you know, at the end of the day, just to be in the final is a major, major, major achievement. So thank you so much for the opportunity as well. I just wanted to say to everybody, because obviously I think everybody's waiting to speak to us afterwards as well in the... Uh, waiting room but this year I think everybody who was involved were superstars to get to the last six out of the hundreds of entries that we had but then to have to deliver a 45 minute video in your own environment with visors with masks with models yeah. masks on it was such a tough one and um, I have oh, to say yeah. though I'm, I'm, I'm going to share this with everybody that on the judging panel one this this year um, it was a clear we had some years it's been very close this year you really you smashed it, mate. You really were out there. So Thank you. thanks to all the judges that Thank judged you it. Um, you know, we've got a real clear winner this year. Um, but you've done absolutely fantastic. How's this going to change your career, mate? Uh, well, hopefully we can get you know, some more exhibitions. I've just obviously opened my own shop, so I can push that brand out there and try and get Amigos on the map, really. Where's this going to go in the Amigos? Uh, it's got a rat. Well, I've been uh, saving a spot for that behind me Chesterfield, uh, where the waiting area is. So uh, I'll move my chair up with, my, with the sunglasses on and I'll uh, put that there. So you've been nice I'm and confident, funny. have you, all week? Have I, heck? <laughs> I was speaking to Dale and Luca last night and I was saying to them, I'm absolutely shit myself. Because <laughs> obviously Dale and uh, Luca, obviously I don't, I don't really know the other guys too well, but Dale and Luca are amazing at the job. So when I saw their names pop up, I absolutely shat my pants to be completely honest with you. But no, it was, uh, For everybody who's watching as well, we uh, forgive Killing for his language. You know, I don't normally swear on stage as well. So, uh, shitting yourself is a technical term up north for you were very nervous before a this big awards ceremony. I'll translate for you. But, Killian, um, uh, how are you going to celebrate tonight? Uh, I'm going to try and be sober, but I'm definitely going to have a few. Beers. I'm going to try not take it too far, but I'm definitely going to have a few beers, yeah. Uh, who's, who's with you? Uh, my brother's with me at the moment, so that's a bad influence on its on its own. So if it's just me and him celebrating, it's not going to end well, really. Excellent. And don't forget, tomorrow night you'll be joining us as a new, in your first public appearance as the uh, World British Barber of Year. You'll be joining me in Gaza on Barber's Arms tomorrow night at 8 pm. Make sure your, your audio's all switched on and you're all raring to go. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was stood there tapping my screen, but not to, I, I know how to suss it now. I, I Googled it while I, while I was waiting. So I'll be ready for tomorrow. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, the new Wall British Barber of the Year 2020 from Oldham, Mr. Yeah. Killian Madison. Cheers, bye bye. We'll see Killian tomorrow night on Barber's Arms. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. We've, we have tried to do as much energy and as much. Uh,
um, theatre and drama as possible as you can virtually. But uh, thanks to everybody, uh, Chris Barleycorn and his team at Wall and the marketing team, Charlotte Biggs as well, that the guys have put into all the videos land and everybody. We've tried to fetch this and uh, give you the next best thing, barring not being at Salon International. It leaves me one last thing. We hope you've all enjoyed it. We've all, you've all been uh, excited by what you've seen. And um, I'm going to be speaking to everybody that's been in the final two uh, just after this uh, broadcast as well, just to make sure that uh, we give all our best wishes to everybody. That leaves us one thing. I hope you have a fantastic Christmas. You're all open next, next week on the 2nd. Um, so we hope you're all nice and safe. You all have a nice weekend. And um, you all have a fantastic Christmas from everybody at World Professional. We hope 2021 brings us a lot more light and a lot more positivity than what this year has been. That just leads me to say... God bless. Merry Christmas to everybody and we'll see you all soon. Adios, amigos.